Hey y'all, I'm Chris and this is Is It Worth It Y'all. Today we are going to go over week six of the pantry challenge and I'm getting a phone call and I forgot to hit do not disturb. One moment and we're back. Oh look, I have some adult supervision. He's down there. My little handsome guy. Can you see him? There he is. There's his little body. Okay. Ooh, let me put you back where you go. There. Okay. <laughs> Try attempt number whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do that again. Hi, y'all. I'm Chris. Welcome back. This is Is It Worth It, y'all. And today we're going to go over week number six of the Three Rivers pantry challenge. So it's Three Rivers Homestead puts on this pantry challenge, as you know, and this is our week six, which is like five and a half. So we're going to go over the week of, I'll tell you the days, February 1st through today, which is lunch, February 8th. So a little, let's back up a little bit. We're going to go over our plan. So February goals, I have my she's in her apron planner and our goals are to February goals $50 at the grocery store and our list is dairy and produce and that's what we get to buy we are going to reduce down to one reach in freezer I have three when we started the pantry we did our inventory and consolidated down to two and now that we've eaten through it for the last month going into the second month we're going to try to get down to one so we can do some rearranging and moving the freezers and defrost them and all the good stuff that you do whenever you've got freezers empty. Um, we are going to reduce the red items in our inventory. So we use a food list. Uh, I think it's an Android app. I think it's actually called food list. I'll put a link in the description. It's not affiliated. There's no affiliate link. I don't get paid to promote them, but it is a, um, inventory uh, uh, software app that we both have on each of our phones. It's Android based only and we can see the inventory and whenever something gets close to an expiration date, it, it turns red in the little line. And so then we can go, oh, let's, let's look at all the red stuff and try to get use up all the red items. So that's what we're talking about. And then we are going to do a weekly beverage and meal prep for lunches for work days. So, and then we're going to get, uh, we're going to get in the kitchen prepping freezer meals more. So, um, let's see as of, Oh, this is good. As of January 30th, 2024, we have 465 items in the red category in our inventory. And we're going to reduce that by a third. So we're going to get rid of 93 items. And so far we're doing pretty okay. Let me show you what we've got, uh, gone through so far this month because I am still keeping a list like I did in January. Here's our list of items that we've already used out of the pantry. So you can see, um, I'm just keeping track of everything because we do update that inventory as we pull things out. We just go ahead and hit remove one, move three, delete four. It's just really easy and it's really nice to work with. So, okay. Since this is week six, it is actually starting to become a little bit challenging. All of the easy, easy ingredients are gone. Um, we still, um, we still have that $50. We did, hold on, I dropped the receipt. We did, um, instead of whenever we reduce down to that second freezer, I was like, let's go get some ice and like fill the freezer up. Cause you know, reaching freezers, you really want them full. So they're not running all the time. Well, I was like, Hey, instead of buying the ice, let's buy gallons of milk. So we went to Aldi and got four gallons of milk at $2 and 61 cents a gallon. So of our $50 budget to fill the freezer downstairs, four gallons of milk, $10 and 44 cents before tax. So our first purchase in February was milk to fill a half empty freezer. So the freezer just doesn't work too hard. You know, critical mass, um, all that good stuff. So math, science, all that good stuff. 
So let's get into it. Um, the recipe that's going to be coming out on, oh no, it's already out. The recipe that came out Tuesday. That's what we did last Thursday, chicken ramen. Go back and watch that video. Y'all, what a pleasure to eat 25, 50 cent ramen and turn it into a luxurious meal. We're doing ramen again tonight. I think we're going to do fish ramen, chicken ramen. What are we doing? Oh, we're doing fish ramen. So I'll film it because I've never had top ramen taste that good before. So that's going to become a thing. Um, on Friday, we, our fancy Friday was actually very, very fancy and really, really good. We had, um, ahi tuna, um, fresh green beans. I had, I had this rogue green bean plant last year that went nuts right at the end of the year. It over summered, like it made it through August and this green bean plant come September went bananas. And so we still have like seven quart bags of fresh frozen green beans. So we had the fresh frozen green beans and then we had rehydrated freeze dried purple mashed potatoes. Yeah. Now that was fancy and that was good. So, so good. On Saturday, that was a leftover day. And we also decided to start planning an extra meal on Saturday since it's such a long day. And we did a, we did some heavy planning on Saturday. We had cereal. I got like six boxes of cereal that nobody's eating anymore. So I'm like, okay, Saturday morning cereal day. So that's what we did. Sunday, which is a video that will be coming out. Let me see when I've got it planned. Oh, when is that one? Oh, that, oh, that's going to be a hot minute. Not unless I move it around a little bit. Let's see. Oh no. Uh, day before Valentine's day, the 13th, um, uh, sausage burritos. So we prep sausage burritos. I'll put a teeny tiny clip here. And then we, uh, ate breakfast for dinner because breakfast for dinner is just the bomb. Also, what we did is I made probably back in August of September last year, I made homemade spam. I wasn't ready to film it then, but I'm ready to film it now. You want to talk about the best way to use leftover ham from like Christmas or Easter or another holiday, homemade spam. Yes, we are going to do that because it is oh so darn good. Okay, Monday, we did like a, it is chilly night. So we did like a riff on a taco salad, except, you know, I didn't have the fancy taco salad bowl that you get at the restaurant because they're in the pantry challenge and I'm not buying anything. And so we did tortilla chips and then chili and then it kind of like drained Rain the chili and we used my white chicken chili. We didn't use like the regular red chili. We use my white chicken chili that I've had on the shelf for a while. And so once we get down a couple more of those, I'm going to film that as well because that chicken chili, the bomb and everybody in the house likes it. And then we just made like a taco salad. We put cheese because it already had the beans in it. We put a little bit of rice that we had left over in the freezer, um, lettuce, tomato, cheese, sour cream, salsa, just like a taco salad except it was on tortilla chips and it turned out really nice. Tuesday is our leftover day. And again, for the second week in a row, y'all were doing so good on portion control. We didn't have any leftovers. So I whipped up my, what my son and I affectionately call macaroni and cheese with peas on top. So it's kind of like just hamburger helper, chili mac, macaroni and cheese, hamburgers. We throw a rotel in. And then the, when my son was little, the only way to get him to eat green stuff was put it on top of macaroni and cheese. So we call it macaroni and cheese with peas on top because we put peas on top of it so the kid would eat the peas. Um, burger night again. We're loving burger night, y'all. It's so creative and fun. Uh, we did uh, four cheese mashed potatoes. We ate peaches and we used my canned corn that I canned two years ago from the local corn because where I'm at in the Midwest, we grow the best sweet corn on the planet. Sorry, whoever else grows sweet corn. Our sweet corn is the bomb.com. Okay. And we still are using those burgers that we prepped at the very beginning of pantry challenge. I think we have two more, two more rounds left of those burger patties. I don't remember. I think we used ground chuck. I've got to really, really rack my brain to figure out what we did. 
Those things are amazing. They are so good. They're still good, even when you thaw them out from the freezer. So that was the, the meals that we did. I mean, it's, it's getting a little hard learn, you know, trying to figure out, okay, what are we going to put on the side? What are we going to, like, what are we going to dress this stuff with? What are we going to do? Um, I made a ton of bread. I made some amazing um, hamburger buns this time, which that bread, oh, the bread recipe is coming out on Saturday. So you'll see that Saturday. But man, oh man, we just did a lot of really creative stuff and we're still not missing anything per se. Uh, we're going to try our best to keep that $50 as, down as much as possible. We're, we're really happy with the way everything's going. And it's been very cool to do two Tuesdays in a row. We get through our leftovers enough that we don't have any leftovers. And that's a testament to learning what you eat, uh, portion control, and making sure you're not wasteful. We did, we did that pepperoni bake last week. I did freezer meal it. So I vacuum sealed it in my uh, food saver and put like four servings in the freezer. We just didn't need it. Uh, we were, I mean, it's, it was good, but we were just kind of like, okay, we're really done with pasta. So we just froze it. That way we didn't, uh, that way we didn't waste it. So it's been good. Like I said, we're on, we've only spent the $10, $10 44 cents at Aldi. Uh, we're doing good as far as everything else. Uh, coming up, next thing that's going to happen, we're going to start working it into the videos, is uh, at the very beginning, we talked about our goals. And this pantry challenge really sets us up to educate us as a family of what do we eat, what do we need to grow to replace what we've eaten, what do we not grow. Uh, so the next phase of this pantry challenge, as we ramp up into February and March, is what are we going to grow in the garden? So we've already got it planned out, like where things are going to go in the backyard. And I'll start to trickle in some of those videos too, because the pantry challenge and this pantry relies on my backyard too. So uh, we'll be sprinkling in some of those videos just so you can kind of see what we're doing. The first two sets of seeds that we're going to sow, maybe not tonight, but maybe tomorrow is celery and onions. We've realized we eat a crap ton of celery and a crap ton of onions. So if we can grow so much that we can freeze dry more, um, let's do it because I think, and they're not, I mean, these aren't expensive items, but if you use a, th a stalk or a, a head of celery, or is it called a head? A bunch, a bunch of celery, like one or two a week times 52 weeks. That's a lot of celery. Um, and I bet if I actually averaged it out over the year, I bet I use an onion a day. So that's 365 onions. So, and it's probably the same for garlic. So those are things that we're looking at. We're like, okay, yes, it's when, whenever it's on sale at the grocery store, it's a dollar 99 for three pounds of onions. But why, why, why not spend the three 99 on a pack of a hundred seeds? growing yourself if you've got the ability to do so in your backyard. So that's where we're going next. I'm so excited to bring that to you. So all is well here at Is It Worth It Y'all? And we're going to continue to document this and stay tuned to see if we extend this to March. We'll see. We have a lot of distractions coming up. I have a lot of engagements that I have to be at at dinner time. I have one thing that we're going to give grace for because it's a very, very important get together. So I get grace on that night and everybody else is going to eat a, left, a freezer meal. So yay, because it's at a really cool restaurant. So it's been a really long time since I've eaten out. So I get grace on that night. And then I think there's a lunch coming up that I have to speak at that I get grace for that. And then what else? And then we're going to start. We've got some travel coming up that we'll see. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting to see how how we bring this thing into March if we do it. And we probably are going to have to change the rules in March a little bit if we keep going, uh, but we'll see. So thank you guys so much for your enthusiasm uh, and subscribing to this channel. I'm, I'm so looking forward to continuing to expand this channel and grow with you and learn how to make this thing work. So subscribe if you haven't liked the video, if you, if you have the opportunity to smash it. Go for it. And with that, y'all have an amazing rest of the day and we'll see you guys on the next one.
Bye, y'all.